The Second Luminous Mystery The Wedding at Cana Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Mary, Jesus, and his disciples were invited to a wedding. The wine ran short. They have no wine. Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. Do whatever he tells you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus begins his ministry at a wedding by performing his first miracle at the request of his mother. He blesses the newly married couple with an overabundance of the finest wine. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary makes a request of Jesus, just as Eve made a request of Adam. The latter brought sin and death into the world. The former was the new Eve, and the new Adam, beginning the long path to Calvary, to save us all from the eternal effects of our first parents' sin. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mother and Son together will repair man's broken relationship with God and usher in a new beginning for mankind. Christ's divine power in this first sign manifested His glory and His disciples believed in Him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary noticed the family's needs before anyone else and took those needs to Christ. She continues to present our needs to her Son in heaven when we pray for her intercession. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary believes it is time for Jesus to announce his identity as the Messiah and begin the final decisive battle, not with Rome, but with Satan, that ancient serpent, and fulfill the prophecy of Genesis. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Surprisingly, Jesus calls his mother woman. But in those days, this was a term of respect. For Mary and Jesus, it had a deeper meaning. She was the woman, the new Eve, whose son, the new Adam, would crush the head of the serpent. There would be no turning back. Life as they had known it would forever be changed. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Adam brought about the fall of mankind by cooperating with Eve in her disobedience. Jesus Christ brought about our redemption with the cooperation of the Virgin Mary in obedience to the will of the Father. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The wedding at Cana points us to a heavenly wedding, the eternal union between Christ and His Church. At Mass, with the receiving of Christ's mystical body, we are intimately joined to Him. We become one with Him for a brief while. At the marriage supper of the Lamb, our union will be official and the celebration will never end. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary's last words in Scripture are likely the most important words we will ever hear. They are at the very heart of the Christian call. The wisdom of her maternal counsel rings out in every age. Do whatever he says. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen.